Hey, David, how's it going? More importantly, how are you? Oh, well, it goes up and down. I miss her. She was my mom, you know. Yeah, it was really tough when we lost mine. I don't know how I got through it, to be honest with you. But you did. You did get through it, right? I guess I did. Yeah, but I had a loving and supportive family. As opposed to mine is what you're saying. Well, I wasn't saying that. But you were thinking it. No, I think you were just projecting that, hun. But it's true if you want to go into it. I don't have a stepdad. I never had a Paul in my life. I assume he has you down? Yeah, I, I don't want to talk about him. But I probably need to talk about him, you know? Yeah, well, then you should probably talk about him. What's going on? Well, he's getting married again, for one thing. What? But your mom is barely cold. Yeah, and it's disgusting, isn't it? Well, who is she? It's only been six months. That's the crazier thing. She's some girl from Thailand named Sandra. They met online. Oh, I see. Um, yeah. Well, how can he afford it? I don't know what you would call it. A trafficked bride? Okay, well, yes. Um, try my mom's money. You mean your money? Well, the court is still trying to figure that out. But to tell you the truth, by the time I'd win, most of my money would be spent in legal costs. Oh, what a terrible man he is. I honestly don't see what your mother ever saw in him. Yeah, honestly, me neither. Not to mention the cigar stink and the casual racism. How long do you think it'll take to get wrapped up in the courts? Well, probably another good six months if I'm lucky, my lawyer says. Who's your lawyer? Saul Goodman ever heard of him? Yeah, yeah. I think I've seen the commercials. But that is if his bride doesn't get any of his money first. Honestly, I didn't know that they still did that sort of thing. Mail order brides or whatever. Yeah, I don't either. Maybe it's not just as overt as it used to be. Ugh. Disgusting world. With a disgusting stepfather. Although, is he really still my stepfather if my mother's dead? Hmm. I don't know. That may be a question for your lawyer. Yeah, I mean, I'm paying him for something, right? So, what did you say this woman's name was? Sandra, and she's 25. And how old is your stepdad? 57 years of fun. Oh, dear God. Yep. Hey, Amy, what's going on? Are you coming over to meet your new stepmom this weekend or what? My new stepmom? I didn't realize that my real father was getting married. Come on, you know what I mean. I'm talking about Sandra. Oh, right, Sandra. Well, no, I wasn't planning on it, actually. Why not? She's an amazing cook. She's from Thailand, you know. Right, I know. So how did you two meet? Online, you said. Yeah, in a chat room. A chat room. There's still chat rooms? Yeah, of course there are. There are tons of chat rooms. Okay, well, how did you two hit it off? Hit it off? What do you mean? Well, I mean, what do you two have in common, if anything? If anything? Oh, I see. As in, like, we have nothing in common? Is that what you're saying? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying there's a big age gap and geographic gap and language barrier. Hey, she speaks English better than me. Oh, really? Does she? Yeah, she's, like, super smart. Maybe you have the wrong idea about a couple of things, Amy. Maybe you shouldn't be so judgmental about other people and how they live their lives. Hey, I'm not being judgmental, okay? Everyone has to make a buck somehow. Make a buck? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, come on, Paul. This is a business transaction, is it not? No, no, it is not. We happen to be in love, thank you very much. Well, I'm sorry, but it's all a little hinky if you ask me. What's so hinky about it? Why are you being so judgmental? Well, I mean, my mom just died like six months ago, Paul. Yeah, so? And you don't think that it's just maybe a tiny bit weird that you're ordering a woman offline already? I didn't order anybody. God, that is disgusting. What kind of person do you think I am? Well, I don't know. I guess that's for the lawyers to decide. Yeah, 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 the lawyers. I wish we could just drop this whole thing and just split your mother's money 50-50. Except that's not what she wanted. Well, the will was murky. You don't have a leg to stand on and you know it. 
Yeah, but until then, I'm the only one with access to your mom's money. Which the court ruled you're not to touch after all this is settled. Hence my suspicion about your new bride and whatever transactions you've been charging lately. Well, that's none of your business, so deal with it. By the way, I saw the posted pictures of you and her the other day at Carabelle's. Kind of a pricey place, don't you think? Oh, uh, well, you know, we were celebrating. Leave my mother's money alone, Paul. See you around, daughter. Hey, babe, what's the latest? Have you talked to the lawyers? Did you tell them about Sandra? Well, yes, actually. And they said there's nothing they can do about it. What? What do you mean? There's nothing they can do? He's spending your mother's money. Your money on a mail-order bride for crying out loud. Yeah, well, supposedly. I guess I don't have any real proof of that. And they're saying they're powerless to start an investigation without the judge's consent. So are they going to try to get it? Yeah, they said they're going to ask, but it's a long shot. In other words, don't hold your breath. Oh, this is so messed up. I agree. He can't get away with this, can he? I don't know, whatever. Why do you sound so resigned? Come on, it'll be okay. We'll fight this. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. He's just spending our money like crazy, it seems. He just bought a new motorcycle. What? A new motorcycle? Yeah, and he came over here with her on the back of it the other day to introduce us. Oh, great. He wanted to take me for a ride on it, too. I, um, declined. So, what was she like? Well, to be honest, pretty cool. The first thing I noticed was how strikingly pretty she was. Oh, yeah? Yeah, which actually kind of made me sad. It's like, poor girl, and you're stuck with this guy? Yeah, that is sad. But Paul was right about one thing. She does speak fantastic English. Oh, really? Better than him? Oh, yeah, definitely. And she taught herself. Can you believe that? What? Really? From an old missionary book that was left when she was a little kid. Her family was dirt poor, and I mean like actual dirt. Barely a hut to live in, she said. No plumbing, no electricity. Wow. And now she's in America. Married to Paul. Which is so sad because she's obviously incredibly intelligent. She loves books. She can go on and on about Jane Austen. She's her favorite writer. So I doubt that she and Paul stay up late talking about Pride and Prejudice, right? Um, no. So what do they talk about? How are they around each other? Well, actually, very sweet. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, they act like they're in love, like newlyweds. And it seems pretty genuine on his part. But what about her? Do you think that she's faking it? I don't know. It's hard to tell. I can't really get a good read on her, you know? Maybe it's just like a cultural thing or something? Yeah, I mean, not all cultures show affection in the same ways, I suppose. But I don't know. I feel like I'm usually a pretty good reader of body language, right? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I knew when Maddie was cheating on Jerry like immediately, didn't I? Some would even say that you're responsible for the end of their engagement. Right, so maybe I'm right? I could be. So suppose she is faking her affections for him, which, let's face it, she most assuredly is. What do you think her end game is? Well, I don't want to assume anything, but I know what my motivations would be. Okay, then what would yours be? Why would you fly halfway around the world to marry a weirdo creep like Paul? Well, money, I guess. I know it sounds cynical and shallow, but a girl does have to eat. Oh, yeah. Money, of course. And what else? Well, I guess just to get a fresh start, you know? Like a chance to start all over. Wouldn't that be nice, David? Hmm... Indeed. So, did you get a chance to talk with her alone? No, not really. I mean, Paul went to the bathroom once and we kind of just made small talk about the motorcycle. So, they're already officially married? Yep. Is it a done deal? What's his is now hers. There was no prenup that I'm aware of. Of course, I could always try and find out. Yeah, that may be a good idea. I'm sure Mr. Goodman could help with that. I don't know. Maybe I'd rather just find out on my own. Those billable hours are kind of getting a little steep. Well, how are you going to find out about all of that? Paul isn't going to talk to you about it. No, he clearly just wants to show off that he's been spending my mom's money. 
I guess I'll have to find a way to talk to Sandra. So how are you going to do that then? Easy. I'll just text her. What? Are you going to ask Paul for her number? Nope, I don't need to because she gave it to me. She gave it to you? But why? I don't know. I think she was just being polite. She said that we were family now. She didn't refer to herself as your stepmother, did she? No, God no. Nothing like that. In fact, she was very sweet about my mom. Oh, really? Yeah, she said that she lost her mom last year and her spirit follows her or something. Hmm, spooky. She said that she knows that my mom's spirit follows me too and will comfort me in times of great distress. Wow. Yeah, it was a little strange, I thought, considering we just met. Well, I wonder if your mother's money is comforting her right now. I guess there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Hi, Sandra. Hello. Is this Amy? Wow, good guess. How are you? Oh, I'm okay. I'm really good, actually. How are you? Good. So, um, I just wanted to tell you how nice it was to meet you the other day. And, uh, welcome to the family, I guess. Oh, well, thank you so much, Amy. It's so nice of you to say. This country is a little bit overwhelming, but you've made me feel very welcome. Right, so uh, we really didn't get a chance to talk much the other day, just you and I? Yes, and I very much hope to amend that. I'd love to have you over to our house for dinner soon. Um, yeah, sure, I guess so. All right, well, I'll tell Paul then? Uh, well, actually, why don't you just let me tell him? Yeah, he'll be surprised that way. Oh, but I thought you two don't often talk. Oh, is that what he said? Yes, he said there's some tension there. Yeah, well, there's certainly a little bit of that. So, Amy, I know that, well, I mean... Yes? I know that all of this must be very hard for you. Me coming here so soon after your dear mother has died. Yeah? Well, to tell you the truth, Sandra, if you don't really feel like having a relationship with me, you don't have to. What do you mean? Well, I mean, Paul is just my stepdad. And as soon as I get all this business sorted out with him and the will, I'm planning on cutting him out entirely. The will? What business with the will? He didn't tell you about my mom's will? Uh, no, he did not. Well, my mom had some money. Okay, she had kind of a lot of money, family stuff. Oh, oh, I see. I assumed he would have told you this. Well, maybe he thought I would... Never mind. So anyway, he's claiming that it should go to him, but my mom made it clear that it should be mine. Well, what did the will say? That's the thing. It's this vague wording. It was written by a guy who had recently had a stroke. It's kind of a long story. Oh, well, I see. I'm kind of relieved that he didn't tell you about it. Although, I guess I'm telling you about it now. Oh, why is that? Well, it's just that, you know, I've gotten to know you. I know that you wouldn't screw us over like that, you know? Like what? You know, like divorce him and try and take the money. But I guess Paul probably had you sign a prenup anyway, right? Um, no. No? No, there was no prenup. Uh, okay. So, tell me a little bit more about your mother. About this family money? While my grandparents were in real estate, they bought a bunch of apartment buildings and they turned it into something. To tell you the truth, I'm not really sure, but apparently we still own them and my mom's just been sitting on the money. Well, real estate is quite the valuable asset. Yeah. By land, they aren't making any more of it. Isn't that what they always say? Yes, I suppose so. I certainly never expected to even be living in a house with more than one room. Isn't that what, um... Yes? Is that... what? What? Is that why you ended up becoming a, a bride? Well, yeah, I guess so. I'm sorry. I just don't know what to call it. Just call it an arrangement. An arrangement, huh? Eventually, I'll make enough here somehow to send back to my family and get them into a decent place. Then, I'll leave your stepfather and go back home to them. 
But how are you going to get enough money for all this? Well, I'll be honest with you, Amy. Okay, fine. I'd appreciate that. When Paul and I first started talking, he told me that he had money. He sent me pictures of cars, of houses. Uh huh. Well, it turns out none of them were his. Uh huh. Right. Of course not. But he told me that he was about to get a large amount of money from his deceased wife, a life-changing amount of money. He said my mother's money is what he meant. Yes, of course. But I did not know this at the time. I mean, I did not know the details. I did not know about you. So now that you do, I want to help you. How do you want to help me? Well, I overheard him talking to his lawyers the other day, and it doesn't sound too good for you. What do you mean it doesn't sound good for me? I don't know a lot of technical terms. I didn't quite catch it all, but I'm just afraid you may lose this case. Uh, did I miss a call from my lawyer earlier? I want to help you, Amy. Well, okay. What do you suggest we do? Well, I'll be honest. My original plan was to be with Paul as long as I had to, and then take the money. Right. But you see, something very similar happened to me. What do you mean? Well, you know how I told you that I lost my mom not too long ago as well. Right. You told me. Well, my family was very poor, but my uncle had become rich over the years in the city. He had become estranged from the family. But he and my mother had stayed in contact, writing letters when he died. His will stipulated that his money was to go to my mother. It could have changed everything for us. I would not be here if we had it. But you don't have it. What happened? My uncle's wife. We don't know what she did exactly, but most likely she bribed the lawyers. We didn't get one penny of the money. Oh my God! I'm so sorry. So I understand how you feel, and I want to help you. What are you gonna do? I believe in karma and balance in the universe, and perhaps my mother's soul will be pleased if I still enact my plan, yet give you the money. What? Are you serious? But what about your family? What about getting them a new place to live? Oh, I've already been talking to a richer man in Florida on the internet. Believe me, I'll be fine. Um. Okay. So what happens next? What do we do? Just leave it to me, Amy. I don't want you to get your hands dirty. We're going to get you your mother's money.、Uh, okay, Sandra. Thanks. Well, well, well. Guess you were right. Uh, hi, Paul. What was I right about? Oh, you know that little mail order bride of mine? That's who. She ripped me off. She ripped us off. What do you mean? I mean, she's leaving me, Amy. Met some other guy or something moving back to Thailand. Who knows? Oh, gee, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, you better be because she's taking all your mother's money with her. Well, it's your money, remember? Well, it's not mine now either. I must have had the worst divorce lawyer in the damn world. She's taking me for everything, Amy. Everything. Didn't you sign a prenup? I mean, you're the one that's going on and on about how everyone needs one of those things, right? Well, I screwed up. Okay, I did not practice what I preached, and now I'm screwed. Uh huh. I see. I'm flat broke. What am I gonna do, Amy? Well, I guess there's nothing you could do, is there, Paul? What do you mean? I mean, the judge decreed it, so you'll just have to abide, just like I have to abide to you getting all of Mom's money. Yeah. Well, whatever. What do you mean, whatever? I mean, I'll get what's mine, what's yours. Don't you worry. Wait, what are you talking about, Paul? I'm talking about. I know where she's going. Sandra, where is she going? Florida. That's where this new guy of her lives. How did you find that out? Oh,、uh, don't worry. I have my ways. I know some people down there. So what are you gonna do? Well, I'm just gonna call them up, have them pay her a little visit. That's all. A little visit to do what? I don't think you want to know, Amy. You don't have the stomach for it. The stomach for it? What are you planning to do, Paul? Are you going to hurt her or something? 
What? Hurt her? No, never. I'll just have my boys talk to her a little. Talk to her about what? What are you going to do to her? Would you just relax, Amy? No one's going to get hurt. We're just going to show her what happens when you rip off the American white man. Excuse me? Oh, what? Is that racist or something? How could I be racist? I married a mail-order bride, remember? Don't do this, Paul. I'm warning you. Are you warning me? What are you talking about? Don't you want your money? Yeah, but I like Sandra. I don't want to see her get hurt. You like her? How can you like her? She ripped you off. No, you ripped me off, Paul. That was my money. Hey, the judge ruled the way he ruled. Go cry to the appeals court. Yeah, the judge ruled the way he ruled. Oh, so you're saying the sex had something to do with it? Oh, no. Why would that have anything to do with it? Like it's impossible for that 70-year-old judge that I know you've never played golf with ever, right? Would it rule in your favor? Whatever. You have no proof of that. Just leave Sandra alone. If she ripped you off, she earned it. And it would be karma well-earned by you anyway. I'm going to get back what's mine, Amy, whether you like it or not. Not if I have anything to say about it, Paul. Well, go ahead and try to stop me. Sandra! Sandra, where are you? Hello there, Amy. Long time no speak. How are you? I'm a whole lot better than where you're about to be, if you aren't someplace safe. What? What do you mean? It's Paul. He's sending guys after you in Florida. What? What are you talking about? I don't know. Somehow he figured out where you're at. He has friends down there. Some real rough customers. Seriously, Sandra, you do not want to mess with these guys. But what does he want? He wants the money. My mother's money. But I don't have it. I gave it all to you. I know, but he doesn't know that. So why don't you tell him? Then he'll leave me alone. Because he'll send those guys after me. Yes, exactly. And not me. Okay, okay. Let me just think about this for a minute. You need to get somewhere safe. That's the most important thing. Where are you now? Are you home? No, but my husband is. Your new husband? Yes, Greg. So you two getting along? Yes. So what does he do for a living? He won't be doing anything if Paul's men get to him first. Okay, okay, sorry. Go call him. Paul, stop this right now. Amy, what are you talking about? This thing is all good to go. My boys are on their way to her house right now. We'll call them off because there's no one home. What? What do you mean there's no one home? I mean the house is empty. Sandra and Greg are long gone. And how would you know that? Because I warned them, that's why. Oh, is that right? You did, did you? Yep. I told them you were sending people their way. And why in God's name would you do that? Because they don't have mom's money, Paul. I do. You do? That's right. I do. And how do you have my money? Because it wasn't her who was going to screw you over. Okay, well, it was her too, but she was only helping me. And how was that? Someone very close to her tried to pull something very similar. You see? Pull something? Huh? Is that what I was doing? That's right. But thankfully, there are still good people left in the world. People who believe in the principles of karma. Oh, yeah? Well, who is that? Certainly not me. Well, you're about to learn about it, that's for sure. And how is that? You racked up a list of felonies, the length of my arm throughout all of this, Paul, and a trail with everyone. And now you've sent thugs to beat up an immigrant that could be considered a hate crime, you know? Oh, yeah? A hate crime? Well, we'll see about that. Yeah, we will. Because I think some federal marshals should be appearing at your door any minute now. So this is what it's come to, huh, Amy? You brought it all on yourself, Paul. Yeah, well, I'll have my vengeance. Don't you worry about that on you and that alien. Hey, Sandra, what's up? Oh, hey, Amy. Just packing. So you're really moving back to Thailand, huh? Yes, this country is just uh, too crazy for me. No offense. No, none taken. So you're getting the marriage with Graganald? Yes, he was pretty understanding. He realized it was kind of an impulse decision on his part. I didn't take any of his money. 
Oh, that was very kind of you. So, no more worries with Paul then, huh? Yep, I don't think anyone will be worrying about Paul for a long time. Well, except the Department of Corrections. So, everything else all squared away then? The money and everything? Yeah, I think everything is going to be okay with that. Well, I do hope that you'll visit me in Thailand someday. You know, I would really love that. I've always wanted to travel to the Far East. It's a beautiful place. I think you'd like it very much. Sandra, you're a very beautiful person. I'm sorry that you've had to put up with all this corruption and exploitation and BS. Well, perhaps brighter days are ahead. Yeah, perhaps they are. Paul was sentenced to six years in prison for a litany of crimes and never had any contact with Amy or Sandra again. He got parole after three years, but finding himself in poor health and unemployable, turned to his friends in Florida for work. He was not cut out for a life of crime and was busted transporting a stolen car across state lines, sent back to prison with an extended sentence. Sandra moved back to Thailand to live with her family. After six months of grueling labor in a sweatshop making your shoes, she received an envelope postmarked from America containing a check from Amy. It was a life-changing amount.